that 35.8 in second quarter. How did this loss occur? Stop <laughs> playing. Was there a point there in the fourth quarter where you considered uh, reinserting Daniel Jackson, who was suspected uh, when he played particularly in the first quarter? Oh, uh, yeah, he had a good stretch early. Uh, I didn't like his stretch starting third. So to stay with the group, uh, collectively, uh, one to ten, uh, myself included. It's, it's, it's embarrassing. I can't have this happen. I cannot have it. Any point, have 15 turnovers for 22 points. And a bunch of the second half. Points in the paint. It's real easy for us. In life, we're not just doing it. We're going to be crazy. Uh, Wes, I guess why maybe, but why not go with that? I'm sorry, I'm talking about it here. Danny and Jordan. Yeah, we, we thought about that. We, uh, you know, I was a little concerned with the size. Uh, you know, we're attacking the down downhill. Uh, rebounding was an issue. Uh, so, yeah, it was, you know, everything was in play. Uh, we obviously had the game somewhat under control. Uh, Struggled to get the ball in bounds. That's kind of the things. Double fourth quarters. Obviously, third and fourth quarters were a disaster. We still had a, a chance to hold on to it. But, I mean, if that's by the three side, just where was he supposed to go? And why did you guys have trouble executing that? Uh, just the, I think, the urgency to get open. I mean, they know right outside of that's, it's, you have to get open. Just hold it back off, run to it, catch the ball, you gotta get it in. This, yours is a, a young team, but players with veteran experience here, and, and a couple of them with rings. Uh, did they lose their composure there as they started to lose? Uh, as, as the lead started to win the I think I mean, everybody lost their program. You can't have the stats I just spoke of if we were playing points. So, yeah, it, it was everybody. How does uh, how does your team recover from recover from something like this? Um, given that this is not a typical loss. That's a good question. Uh, I hope hopefully uh, we, we respond quickly. These type of games can linger. That's what we want to try to avoid. There's a lot from it that we can take, but these are things that you know, just can't happen. Our guys are aware of it. They're frustrated with things they should be embarrassed. Um, because you can't, you can't allow that you know, type of performance in the second half for a game like that to be embarrassed. Embarrassed is also the use the word used after Austin. If all your guys bring back some difficulty at the same time, I like to think that's going to be something for the next. Well, I mean, it wasn't an issue in the first half. So, um, so I, I don't think that was. Um, it's you know it's something we got to figure out. This is not who we are. Obviously, can't keep going on this road. Five second play there, and what you saw, and the difference things getting better. Uh, I had no options, so uh, I'm not going to have a live ball turnover. Just to get the smartest thing to do. What do you make of? I think his opinion matters less. <laughs> yeah. Uh, his opinion matters less. Some guys are talking about this one. Go 35 point lead. Got to do a better job. It's really not much to say, honestly. Kyle or coach that he felt like he stopped playing, thinking, thinking at the game, this is a bad, that's a good player. Do you concur 
know what that is. So. I mean, I, I mean, everybody, yeah, everybody stopped me. You know, felt like uh, that's what we do anything. That's a better job for you to do. It's as well. He lost. Kyle, you mentioned something's got to change, or what do you think needs to change? Uh, man, I have no clue. I know something got to change. 13 and 23, since 10 and 3, 30 games left. Can we do this, or we can change something? That, I don't know. You've, you guys have a couple of days off and then have a really, really tough stretch with the top of those conferences. How do you think this will be done? What do you focus on first? Oh, um, man. I don't even know, honestly. Uh, you know, I can give you a generic answer. I can just be like, you know, we can come in and work hard and uh, figure it out defensively, but we're not figuring it out. It's uh, clear today. Uh, it's really what else can you do at the day? You know what I'm saying? It's uh something that's changed. Something's gotta I don't know. It's been a belief for a minute now. Is there something you can draw back on that will help you think this time? Um No, uh, you know, it's tough. Uh, I haven't really necessarily been in a predicament like this, you know, it's uh, got a lot of challenges uh, ahead of us. And obviously we've got a tough schedule. Uh, still trying to fit multiple guys in a rotation. Uh, still trying to figure our roles after 40, 50 games. Sure, you know what I mean. It's just uh, got a lot of obstacles. So, what was it like uh, post game after a defeat this shot? I mean, it's the same thing I said. Like, what can you say? I mean, you can say we stopped playing. Yeah, we stopped playing. Uh, say we have the defense. Uh, but at the end of the day, I mean, it's. Not good, you know. It's like one of the situations you just gotta laugh. There's nothing else to really. Uh, there's no good time. There's no. There's nothing to it. Honestly, can't lose by 35 to a team that was trying to lose. You took all the stars out. Kawhi George is not here. Kawhi is not here. You know what I mean? It's great. Do you think not having the roles set kind of contributes to just your guys' recent stretch in, in general? I mean, it's tough. You know what I mean? Like, you, you would think by now, you know, as, a, as a collective group, we would have our roles figured out, uh, but we don't. Um, you know, same thing, but rotation wise, we still don't have that. So. You know, granted, we haven't had a whole team this year. You know, we just played our first full game together, what, a couple, three, four games ago. Um, so, it's, uh, like I said, we've got obstacles. we got obstacles, I'm sure. How do you sum up such a stunning defeat? It's embarrassing. You know, the first person I've ever seen was just scratch. Uh, it's embarrassing. I just went over it. <clears throat> We just talked to Coos. He said something's got to change. Do you agree? Yeah. What, what do you think needs to change? A lot, but we got to fix some things. How, how did this uh, occur? Right? 
very disturbing. For the last 10, 15 minutes, I heard her out loud. I have no words besides embarrassing me. You know, you guys have a really tough stretch coming up. Where do you start in terms of these next three days and practice? Ah, being important. You know, understanding who we are and what we are. What, what are we trying to achieve, honestly? What, what kind of team are we trying to be? You know, I think that's my biggest question. To, to all of us as a unit, like, who are we trying to be? Do we want to be a winning team or we don't? We got a couple of days, like we said, we got a couple of days to figure it out. We got a tough match with team. It's hot. You want to run for a few more teams, it's hot. So, I mean, it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. I think that's the frustrating part. You know, we're trying to make these adjustments and corrections on the fly. And we got a lot of problems and shit here. You know, household, we just got to deal with it. So, um, just got to figure it out. In the third and fourth, when things are clearly starting to change at least in that really good first half is there a sense on the bench or on the players on the floor that like something you know we need to tighten up something's happening here or what were you seeing out there uh yeah i mean that was that was emphasized throughout the whole second half you know the game isn't over we haven't done shit like we aren't that good quit thinking that we're this elite team like, we were up 35 points tonight we lost the damn game Brad, obviously there's a tremendous amount of speculation of your intentions for the future. And especially with the trade deadline coming up. After these recent struggles punctuated by this loss, do, do, do you start questioning whether you want to return here? So I have a lot of conversations with Tommy. We're very uh, transparent with what we want to do and what my future looks like. Uh, yeah. But yeah, the deadline is coming up. And very well aware of how we're playing and how other teams are playing and what my interests are, you know. I think I'm giving this organization opportunities to, you know, prove that and show that. And obviously, I'm, I'm a big factor in that, too, in producing and playing well. But I want to win, and we all know that. And it's just a matter of us doing it. You know, we got the pieces, we got the assets, we got the depth, you know, everything that we – bragged about at the beginning of the year. Um, you know, now it's put it together and make it work. You know, you know speculations are going to be what they are. I can't control that. Uh, but I know what comes out of my mouth and I know where my heart is and everyone to know. Super was also saying that, like, as a collective group, you're going to kind of really figure out your roles. Do you agree with that? Or how do you say that? Uh, yeah, I mean, in a way. Um, it's tough because you don't want to put guys in the box. Um, but at the same time, I think it's just understanding personally what you can contribute. You know, I think it's honestly being real. You know, what, what are you capable of doing on the floor, whether you're, you know, facilitator or shooter? You know, you just do your job. You know, you're a defender, you're a rebounder, screen setter. Like whatever it is you do, be a star on that. I think I'm not sure if we have that. And it's tough, you know, because like I said, I keep I keep preaching. Like I've been on teams where guys are uh, like we we got guys fighting for survival. Like I get it. Like I don't I don't fault my teammates for that. Like I, I don't feed their families. Like, they gotta feed their families. We got guys trying to stay alive, guys trying to stay on the team, guys trying to avoid being traded. Because like you said, the speculations out there. Everybody keeps saying we're trying to, you know, push to do something, but that's tough on the team. It's tough on guys to, to accept that and go out and try to produce and go out there and try to compete with the minutes that they have. That's tough. Yeah. That is very tough. I apologize if you've been asked this. Can you describe what the last 10 minutes was like on the floor? Hmm. Uh, honestly, Chris, I feel like we won the game. I feel like. I was frustrated when I had to go back in because um, I knew we were up 20. And this should have been the game where starters get their rest. Plain and simple. 
right? That's that's what type of game this should have been. And we didn't. And coach kept saying that, you know, stay locked in, stay locked in, keep pushing. But we just, for whatever reason, we relax. Like, we could just flip on the switch and be great. We haven't proved that all year. But for whatever reason, we, we kind of, we go back into this shell of thinking we can, we can flip on the switch and into the third, you know, early fourth. And that's, it, it kicks us in the foot every single time. Um, and tonight it did that. You know, they, you give them life, they're going to have confidence. Like, there's no other way of putting that. Like, we got to be dogs. I have heart. You can't teach this stuff. All right, what's the, meanwhile, including the coaching staff, what's the next step after, not just a game like this, but after the performance? Yeah, this one was a lot of, this was worse than Boston. Like, Boston was a bad area, you know? Uh, uh, this one feels 10 times worse than um, But I mean, that's where, you know, we got, nobody's gonna feel sorry for us, you know? Um, I just wanna, Sitting here and say, oh, you know, it should have been this way. Um, hell, we could think Brett should have called four, three fouls before he got the shot off. We were losing that game. Because that's what happens when you F with the game. That's with the game. You, you don't win, you don't get rewarded. You know, and we did that. But how do we bounce back? We're going to be seen because we're too inconsistent. I hope it's in the positive direction, in the right direction. It looks just watching the replay of tomorrow's three, it looked like Spencer was attempting to stop. Is that, is that what was attempted? Yeah, I mean, was, Wes told me before they even inbounded the ball to foul justice. You go back, you can see me trying to foul justice plenty of times. I'm slapping his arms, I wrapped, my, wrapped around him and didn't call it. Uh, sure enough. Luke gets the, gets the hand off. And, Spence, I see Spence, <laughs> he literally like grab his arm and foul him, and, you know, going thing. And I try to get a quick one before he raises up. And I feel like I got one. Takes another dribble, foul, three. So can't make it up. Can't make it short. We don't uh, understand all the team dynamics and how the team is coming to us like this. When I play, mm-hmm. after something like this, do you as the leader? Get the guys together and have everyone talk, or you talk, it, or is that? Mm. And usually, um, me personally, I I talk after games usually. And I leave a message with the guys. And we all we all know we should have won the game. We all know we should play better. So sometimes it's like it defeats the purpose of beating the dead horse, you know. But at the same time, you know, as a leader, I have to, I put myself in the forefront. Like, I don't, I never blame my teammates for the losses. I never blame my teammates for anything. Like, you, if you always hear me, it's my fault. It's my fault. It's my fault. Even if, even if I have a great game and we lose, it's my fault. You know, I always assume that responsibility. But for the most part, we, we have to understand that we aren't as good as we think we are. And, me, I have to, I just continue to lead by example, continue to be vocal. I've seen this before. I've been on teams like this before. Um, and it's, it's manageable. It's easy to turn around. Like, I've been on teams where we turned it around and made good, made a big run. And sure enough, we're top four, you know, in the East going to the finals. Like, I still have seen it. I've seen it. We've had success doing it. Um, and it's possible. But if everybody's not bought in and locked in, you know, to what coach wants, and what's successful and sustainable for us, then we're not going to be that team. Is there a buy-in problem with the Billy on the defense again? Yeah, I think you can say that. I always, I always go to your defense is nothing but your will. You gotta want to defend. You gotta want to get after. It. You gotta want to keep your guy from catching. You gotta want to help your teammate. You know, that's that was a defense's control, and 